Today we're going to explore exponential growth using the classic penny problem. I want to help everyone understand what the term exponential really means when they use it. It's not just an adjective that means really big or really fast. Our minds have trouble understanding growth in an exponential way and I'll explain why. So you have the classic penny problem. You just got a new job working your, in your favorite corn dog trek. Your boss asks you to choose between two options for payment over a 30-day period. Option one is that your boss starts you with one penny on day one and then doubles the previous day's payment each day onward. So day two you receive two pennies, day three you receive four pennies, day five you receive eight pennies, and so forth for 30 days. Option two is your boss simply gives you one million dollars. One million dollars sounds pretty nice, but maybe we should take a look at how much money the other option gives. So looking at this a little more closely, day one you receive one cent, day two you receive two cents, day three you receive four cents, day four you receive eight cents, day five you receive sixteen cents. So what do you receive on day thirty? So what I'm noticing here is that these numbers here can be rewritten as powers of 2. For example, 1 can be written as 2 to the 0 power, 2 can be written as 2 to the 1st power, 4 can be written as 2 to the 2nd power, 8 can be written as 2 to the 3rd power. And what I'm noticing is another pattern where the exponent is simply the day number subtract 1. So on day 4, the exponent is a 3. So on day 30, the exponent will be a 29. And for any nth day, the exponent will be 2 to the n, n minus 1. So how much are you paid on day 30? 2 to the 29th cents, which amounts to over $5 million. And that's only what's paid just on day 30. So after n days, you would have 2 to the n minus 1 cents. So on day 40, you would earn 2 to the 39th cents. So exploring this a little further, let's figure out when the pennies start really amounting to a lot of money. You can see after day 10, you only receive $5.12. So you, after 10 days, you might really think that that's not going to amount to much. And even after 20 days, you're only up to $5,242.88. This is nowhere near $1 million. It's not until day 25 that you're even in the $100,000 area. But if you look, on day 28, we're paid $1,342,177.28, which is well over the initial $1 million offer. And here's a graph of what it looks like each day, how much we are paid. So does this look familiar? Other things besides pennies can grow exponentially. Any living organism that is allowed to grow with unlimited resources and no competition or predators will grow exponentially. When you have something that is growing exponentially, it will double its population in a certain time frame. For our penny problem, the payment doubled every day. Let's just compare doubling every three days to doubling every six days. So if you have one infected person on day one, the, and the virus doubles every three days, then after 30 days, you would double 10 times. 30 divided by 3 is 10. And the result would be 2 to the 10th power, which equals 1,024 people. Continuing this rate would yield 2 to the 20th cases by 60 days. And 2 to the 20th power equals 1,048,576 people. On the other hand, if you have one infected person on day one and the doubling occurs every six days instead of every three days, then after 30 days, you would double five times, or two to the fifth power, which would be 32. At this rate, after 60 days, you would double 12 times, so the result would be two to the twelfth power, which equals 4,096. That's quite a different number. 
So 1,048,576 is significantly larger than 4,096. The difference between these numbers is purely the result of a longer doubling time. So why is this so hard to wrap our minds around? I've heard so many people say that there must be something wrong, that the numbers just don't add up to them. Well, it's because our minds like to conceptualize growth in linear patterns, like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. It's a lot harder for our minds to conceptualize a pattern of exponential numbers, like 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Both of these series start out small and seem to grow gently at first, but the latter will grow much, much faster and in a way that we are not used to thinking about. So my final thoughts. We know that the virus will not remain in an exponential growth phase forever. It will start out exponential and then it will follow a bell shape, which is called a logistics curve. The bottom line is, if the rate of doubling can be slowed using social distancing during the exponential phase, the spread of the disease can be slowed significantly. In our example, slowing the doubling time from every three days to every six days made a difference of over 1,044,480 cases. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new about exponential growth, and if nothing else, now you can solve the penny problem and impress your friends.